You're watching live weigh-in coverage of the guaranteed rate Bassmaster Elite at Lake Chickamauga from Dayton, Tennessee. You guys are the hardest core anglers ever, the hardest core fishing fans, because it is absolutely freezing up here. But I thank you guys for coming out here today to cheer on our Elite Series pros. This is the fourth stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series, and we've got to whittle our field down to 10 anglers. 47 remain, the top 10 fish championship Sunday. We've got a bunch of them waiting backstage to come out here. Are you ready to meet some anglers? This is the guaranteed rate. Ba Who was the last yeller? It was you? You're the loud one? Okay, everyone else yell. That was impressive, actually. Okay, now you. Oh, you didn't bring it the second time. It was you? Let me hear you. Wow. All right, everybody together, are you ready? This is the Guaranteed Rate Bassmaster Elite at Lake Chickamauga, and we have an incredible tournament here this week. Big fish always here every single time we come here. A little different than we expected, but I can guarantee you we'll have 10 worthy anglers going out in Championship Sunday. One more time. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, let's get ready to win our very first angler. We have not introduced our tournament director, ladies and gentlemen. Let the anglers stay back here. And if you ever wonder that I screw up, I just did. Let's introduce our tournament director, the person who's going to weigh the fish, LT, Lisa Talmadge. I'll let you get the scale ready while I stand up here and embarrassed and wait until it's all ready. And then normally Lisa sets up the scale. And then this is the port where I make that ridiculous, let's get ready to weigh him. But at my age, you can get a little premature. And I just did, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. Are we ready? All right, we're going to start off with the big one. He is your reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Newmarket, Minnesota, the amazing fighter man, Seth Fighter. Sorry, Seth, I screwed up a little bit there. 27 pounds, 14 ounces as of today. One fish for two pounds, five ounces. And with 30 pounds, three ounces, going to call an end of your tournament. And it turns out I was not the only one who had a bad day. Yeah, no, brutal day. I, I mean, I was kind of playing with fire. I'd only been getting five bites a day, and I lost four of them today. So that's what you end up with. But uh, I do want to give a shout-out. My uh, oldest daughter's turning four today. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, Munch. I love you, and uh, I'll see you soon. Happy birthday. Safe travels. Look forward to seeing the next one. Hot of a win at our last event, a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year and Elite Series Champion from Georgia, Drew Cook. Drew Cook at 35 pounds and two ounces. Two fish to add to that here today. Four pounds, 10 ounces. Gives you 39 pounds, 12 ounces. And uh, not quite the tournament at Chickamauga that we would have expected when the schedule was released. No, yeah, it didn't really plan out like uh, like we thought it was going to be. <clears throat> but, you know, I was able to do it for the first two days and, you know, ended up having a good event doing it after practice. I mean, it was pretty brutal, so... I mean, I'm not happy with it by any means, but it could have been worse. But uh, it was my dad's birthday yesterday, and I caught him 17-something, and I was supposed to catch him 19-something today, but uh, I guess I'll head home and uh, hang out with them. But caught everything on a, the same thing I caught him on last week, uh, four-inch fighting frog, tilapia magic, sight fishing, and, uh, you know, just pitching it around. If you can find any, I would highly suggest getting some, but they're, they're hard to come by right now, but looking forward to it. we got five weeks off with the family. It's a bad couple weeks to be a turkey, but uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Good luck turkey hunting. Enjoy some time with the family. Let's bring out our reigning and defending Bassmaster Classic champion, one of the most feared names in professional fishing, Jason Christie. Had 36 pounds, 15 ounces to start today. Five fish to add to that today. Looking for three pounds, seven ounces to take the lead. Not a problem. 20 pounds, 12 ounces with 57 pounds, 11 ounces. Jason Christie takes the lead here on day number three, semifinal Saturday at the guaranteed rate Bassmaster Elite at Lake Chickamauga. 57-11 and leading this tournament right now. Three anglers into our day three way and going to weigh that for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. 
six pounds, four ounces. So he takes that over for the day. And uh, you might be sticking around with us all the way through to Sunday. And uh, this worked out pretty good for you this time around, Jason. Yeah, today was a crazy day. You know, you it started off super slow. And uh, I'm fishing for spawners. And it snowed while I'm trying to fish for spawners. And I'm just like, what am I thinking? You know, I went from catching 25, 20 to 25 keepers. I think I caught eight today. And I caught that six pounder literally. I put it in the boat and we and we ran back. So it was just one of those days. And you know, I love going fishing on Sunday. And I just want to be within a pound or two or three and have a chance to have one of those magical days and get one of those trophies. We've seen you have a few magical days already. Keep it rolling. Hope to see you at the end of our way, and we'll bring out our top ten, a four-time Bassmaster winner from North Prince George, Virginia, Jacob Peroznik. 32 pounds, 13 ounces. As of this morning, he's got three fish here today. Eight pounds, 11 ounces, gives you 41.8, puts you in second place, but uh, don't know if it's enough to slide in the cup, but hey, you make the first payday and you know you've done done a good job this week. Yeah, I guess anytime you catch a bass when it's snowing, it's pretty good. But, uh, you know, I guess it's time to put down the quantum and pick up that Remington. You know, turkey season, we got a couple weeks off for Lake Fork. And, uh, you know, turkey, I'd I think I'd rather turkey hunt than bass fish. I mean, that, it's that good. But, uh, you know, thanks to all my sponsors. What a great what a great crowd we have here in Tennessee. Chickamauga is always a favorite place. You know, it just didn't show out like it should have. You know, I mean, if we were here next week, when that weather warms up, it's going to be unbelievable. So, you know, keep this lake healthy. It's an absolute amazing, you know, amazing body of water, and uh, hopefully we'll be back one day. Always great to have you here. We'll look forward to seeing you at Lake Fork. Here's a guy who's no stranger to here. Went to Bryan College, represented Bryan College in the Bassmaster Classic, Jacob Fouts. 32 pounds and 5 ounces to start the day. Five fish to add to that here today. Looking for 25 pounds and 7 ounces to take the lead, but the goal just to get inside the, the top 10 needs four pounds an ounce currently. 23 pounds, eight ounces, with 55 pounds, 13 ounces. Jacob Faust moves into second place. Digging deep in that VMC weigh-in bag. That is a brand new VMC monster bag of the day. 23 pounds, eight ounces. Going to weigh that for Phoenix Boats. Big bass needs to be better than six pounds, four ounces. Seven pounds, 12 ounces. Leading Phoenix Boats, big bass. Sitting in second place in this tournament and all that time you spent on this incredible body of water might just pay off with your first uh, championship Sunday here in the Elite Series. Well, I sure hope so. You know, I don't know if I can do that again today, but, uh, you know, they started off, off really slow, you know, just... Just wasn't getting many bites, and from about eleven to two, it just it just went down. I caught caught five pretty good ones, and you know it's it's exciting. I don't I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but we'll see. Keep our fingers crossed. You slide in the top ten. Stick around. We'll bring out the top ten at the end of our weigh-in. A former Elite Series Rookie of the Year, an Elite Series champion from Georgia, Drew Benton. Thirty-seven pounds and five ounces as of this morning. Currently in ninth place, five fish for 12 pounds even, moves him into third place with 49 pounds and five ounces. Sitting in third place, I'd love to send you out there again tomorrow. We'll find it at the end of the way-in. But regardless, I mean, first of all, congratulations. You got married, uh, what, like last week or the week before? Yeah, right in between uh, Santee and here. This is actually my honeymoon. Oh, there's <laughs> nothing says love like Lake Chickamauga. That's right. My, you know, my wife and my two stepkids, this is their first Elite Series. So y'all give them a round of applause. They, they had a, a good time this week. And they said they want to come back. And, uh, you know, today just didn't work out. I, I think I'm going to end up one bite short. But, man, it was tough. It was a grind. And uh, these Florida strains don't like that sleet just as much as I didn't like it out there today. But it, all in all, it was a good week. I had a tough, tough practice and uh, really turned a tough practice into a good good event. And uh, either way, if I make it or not, I'll, I'll go home with my head held high. Always great to have you here. Hope we see you in our top ten. We'll find out at the end of our way. And a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Richmond, Virginia, the barrister Edward Lochran III. Had 34 pounds even, five fish to add to that here today. 
12 pounds, 5 ounces. He moves into fourth place with 46 pounds and 5 ounces. So a good tournament. I hope you get in the top 10. But no matter what way it shakes out, being here on day three is, uh, is your job is done here this week. Yeah, I'm real happy with how I did here this week. Um, you know, I'll probably end up in the top 20. I think there's some guys back there with some weight. But I uh, had a good tournament, caught plenty of fish. It's a great lake. I uh, just needed to get a couple bigger bites, but maybe I'll uh, do it the next one. Congratulations on a great finish. Look forward to seeing you the next one. I know you're going to get loud. He's a three-time classic qualifier. He's basically the happy Gilmore of our sport, a man more slick than an ugly stick, Matt Robertson. 40 pounds and 5 ounces, looking for 17.7 to take the lead. Five fish all alive. 14 pounds, 6 ounces, moves into third place with 54 pounds, 11 ounces. And Matt Robertson is inside our top 10 currently. Only the top 10 fish on championship Sunday. 54 pounds, 11 ounces, and uh, happy learned how to putt. Yeah, happy learned how to putt. Man, it's a grind out there. I knew it was going to suck today. And, uh, yeah, lost one great big one. This uh, this place really does have giant bass in it, but uh, it is what it is. And, uh, man, I'm happy to have what I have. The only thing I need right now is a hot tub to get in because I am freezing. Well, I, I'm sure one thing you have no trouble finding, no matter where we travel, is a hot tub. So I'm sure you'll figure that out. If you get in the top ten, you got fish to make a run at this thing tomorrow? Yeah, I do. I think uh, they didn't bite real well today, but uh, if we get a crack at her tomorrow, um, you know, things got to go right, got to get the right bites, but I think we'd crack a big bag tomorrow. Would love to see you in the top ten. We'll find it at the end of our way, and let's bring out our progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year leader, a nine-time FLW Tour winner, two-time Bassmaster winner from DeBerry, Florida, John Cox. 32 pounds, nine ounces as of this morning. Three fish today for six pounds, two ounces. Puts you in ninth place and uh, unofficially may have missed the first Sunday cut of the season, which, number one, an incredible start to a season, and you got nothing to be ashamed of, but toughest day you've had all season, really, today. Yeah, I mean, today uh, reality set in, and, uh, you know, I was going on the bank. I caught those couple males off the bed, and uh, as I was looking, it started uh, kind of snowing on me, and I'm like, I am definitely doing the wrong thing today. And uh, I tried to adjust, but just couldn't do it. And, uh, man, I don't know. But, uh, you know, happy to make it. I realized I was so fortunate to make it to today, you know, and, uh, you know, hopefully it'll keep us in there uh, near the top and uh, points, and uh, we'll get ready for uh, – Wherever we go next, Fork. Yeah. So, and then I, I just want to tell you, you guys are awesome. I uh, love coming here. Uh, man, it, I was, I'm glad everybody showed up today. And uh, yeah, we'll see. It's gonna be it's gonna be an awesome tournament, and uh, someone's gonna probably catch some giant ones tomorrow. Still our progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Let's hear it for him. Hot of a top ten at our last event. A former Bass Nation national champion from Wisconsin, Pat Schlopper. Pat had 33 pounds, 13 ounces to start today. Five fish to add to that here today. Looking for 4-4 four, four to get inside the cut. 12 pounds, 8 ounces inside the cut currently in sixth place with 46 pounds and 5 ounces. Pat, 46 pounds, 5 ounces in sixth place. I hope it's enough to get you back out there tomorrow. Not because of, I mean, I know you'd love to win the tournament, but I want to see you do some ninja on the stage tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, but uh, it was a good tournament. Uh, I got really fortunate that first day to catch that big one. Unfortunately, I only had four that day, and I lost one fish that would have gave me five. But then after that, I never lost another fish, fished really clean. So it's hard to be disappointed. I just didn't get the bites today. I only caught six keepers, no big ones. So hard to complain when you get a 10-pounder and finish in the top 47. So um, it was a good tournament. I really like this lake, first time being here. So hopefully I get to come back. Congratulations on a great finish. Two back-to-back -back great events. You know who I love? I love John Cox. I love him so much. I'm going to bring him out one more time. Let's. Oh, Pat Schlopper can't go anywhere because he's got a check to hold up. Phoenix Boats with Big Bass from our last event. If we can get our photographers to take lots of pictures of him because um, 
He's currently leading Phoenix Bulls Big Bass for this event with his 10-5 from day number one. So, I mean, to save them taking pictures at the next one, you might as well. Hopefully that other one holds up, too. I kind of like these big Happy Gilmore checks, so I want to keep stacking them up. Go stack them up in the back of the Pinto. Let's bring out another angler who we missed something with. Let's bring out our progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, John Cox. John, I missed you, and I wanted to bring you out and give you a Happy Gilmore check. We have just broken a world record, ladies and gentlemen, for the most Happy Gilmore references at a Bassmaster way in ever. Put that in the back of your Pinto, and we'll see you at the next event. A two-time FLW Tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. Matt Airy with 32 pounds, 14 ounces. Coming into today, he's got five fish to add to that. Needs 15 or 5'3 to get inside the cut currently. 15 pounds, 14 ounces. Puts him in fifth place with 48 pounds and 12 ounces. 48, 12, and sitting in fifth place currently. Team Toyota's Matt Airy. A three time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. 48 pounds, 12 ounces. That puts you in fifth place. And, uh, I'd love to send you out there tomorrow, but regardless of how it works out, Matt, you got to be happy with this week. I mean, a lot of anglers, a lot of favorites coming into this event didn't make day three just because how different chick fished this time around. Yeah, and to your point, you know, after practice, I had no idea what I was going to catch, but uh, I got to fish the way I wanted to fish. You know, I've been keeping a jig wet all week, and uh, it's it's not been easy to get bites, but it, 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 I take that back. It's easy to get a lot of bites, but they're all 12 inches, and then every, about every 10 fish, you catch a, you know, a decent keeper, but I think I set a, we probably set a record today for april weather i saw sleet i saw snow i saw rain i saw clouds i saw sun and i saw wind so i think the only thing we were missing was a tornado but other, <laughs> the wind is blowing but I, th I think we're good at least for the next 24 hours or so who knows what tomorrow is going to bring but uh hopefully it's enough i doubt it is but um regardless we've had a great week at chick we've had a good start to the year and uh, i think next up is uh old big fish factory down in uh, texas so that's always a good time so turkey season actually opened in north carolina today so it's not going to really hurt my feelings too bad if my wife's going to get mad at me for saying this but <laughs> if i if i do get eliminated i'll get to go home and do a little turkey hunting enjoy the turkey hunting there's a lot of elite series pros to turkey hunt. i don't know if you've caught on to that ladies and gentlemen our next angler a two-time elite series champion from south carolina the c-o-double-b brandon cobb had 30 pounds and 12 ounces to start the day. Needs nine pounds even to get inside the cut. Currently 12, 12 in there in eighth place with 34 or 43 pounds, eight ounces. 43 pounds and eight ounces. And Brandon Cobb inside the top 10 currently at the guaranteed rate. Bassmaster Elite sitting in eighth place and. Those guys have a way of ruining people's ideas of going into Sunday, so I don't know how it'll work out for you, but you got to be happy with this one. This was a tough one. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely don't think it'll work out to get go again tomorrow, but to be perfectly honest, I have about 25 trees I've been fishing, and I've flipped the bark off those things with Zoom Z Crawl. There's no bark left, no bass left. I don't think there's anything around them anymore. So uh, if I did have to go tomorrow, I don't know exactly what I'd do. But it was a great week. Had fun running around on the lake and caught, uh, caught a bunch of fish, actually. Never fished in uh, April snow before, but that was, uh, that was a little unique. But had a great time. Look forward to getting to the next one, get a few weeks off finally and uh get recouped and ready to go to lake fork texas i think yeah you've done pretty good there before so we look forward to seeing you at fork let's hear it for him here's the guy who's done pretty good here in the past took a second place finish last time we were here from corbin kentucky mike huff mike had 33 pounds and three ounces looking for seven one to get inside the cut currently five fish all alive 14 pounds seven ounces he moves into sixth place currently with 47 pounds and 10 ounces. Forty-seven ten and sitting in sixth place. I'd love to send you out there tomorrow. We'll find out how it works out at the end of our weigh-in. I'd love to go, definitely. I think it's going to be a little short, though. But uh, today was a grind, Dave. It really was. I mean, I'm, I haven't seen snow in April very often. Uh, but 1 o'clock, I had two keepers, and it was, 
<laughs> my head was down, and I'm thinking, you know, my wife's driving all the way down here. I better go catch some. Pulled up to one tree and caught four. So it was a good day, and uh, hopefully I'm fishing tomorrow, but I think I'm going to be a little short. I'd love to send you out. We'll find out at the end of our way. And here's a no stranger to snow from Kenora, Ontario, Canada, the great Canadian snow leopard, Gussie Jeff Gustafson. Had 33 pounds and five ounces. Five fish here today. Looking for eight pounds, three ounces, 12, 12, gives him 46 pounds and an ounce inside the top 10 in ninth place currently. Sitting in ninth place, and uh, this one was a tough one for a lot of anglers. you got to be happy with the way it worked out, Gussie. Oh, yeah, super happy to be fishing today. I, uh, I, I actually caught just five all three days of the tournament, so, I mean, I can't complain. Um, i a little disappointed today because I had my limit pretty early and, uh, you know, just tried, tried to catch a big one all the afternoon and just never did. Got a few more short ones, but, uh, but yeah, good weekend good weekend thanks to uh carl and kayla jacobson looked after us uh maddie wong and i stayed up at their place this week and uh kayla made us some awesome dinners all week i had a great place to sleep so th thanks to them um thanks for coming out today everyone awesome crowd congrats on a great finish yeah. thank you 32-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, four of them he has won, a 16-time Bassmaster winner from Ava, Missouri, the legendary Mr. Rick Clun. 37 pounds and two ounces as of this morning. Had a big bag yesterday. Two fish here today looking for 6'6", six, six, four pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into 11th place with 41, 12, and... Rick, when you weighed in yesterday, you told us about you've been dealing with some back pain, and you said when you catch big giant ones, your your back doesn't hurt at all. Uh, how does how your back feel today? It wasn't good. No, <laughs> no. no, I needed one of those good ones every once in a while to kick in the endorphins. But uh, I, uh, you know, I, I was a little worried about Mary. It was really small, and I really wasn't fishing most of the fish. I was fishing for the big ones out in the middle where there was some grass. Uh, there were some people in there, uh, Drew Bitten and them fishing the bank, and those fish were bedding. I was hoping this weather would move, keep some of those fish, move some of those fish back out there. I did see one six caught out there in the middle, but I never had a, a bite where I caught the big ones. Uh, I want to thank Drew Benton. Yesterday, I wouldn't even be here, but I, I fished in there all day yesterday. I went to start my engine to come back, and it was dead. Uh, these cameras, I've got to get used to the fact that if you don't crank your engine running the cameras and all the depth finders we got, but he had, Drew had a chart, a jumper, and jumped me real quick. So thank goodness I, I at least saved me ten thousand dollars. But uh, but anyway, yeah. And I, uh, I I found these fish in there on a little on my, one of the little tiny MD forty uh, fives. It's just a little bitty uh, crankbait. I bet I caught too many. I caught one went through there one pass. Probably had twenty two, twenty three pounds. Wow. Uh, but. They, I've caught a three pounder the first day on it, and then I had to switch to spinner bait and you know the rest of the tournament. Good tournament, regardless. Congratulations, Rick. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. He's your reigning Bass Nation national champion from Hawaii. Say aloha to Matty Wong. 36 pounds and six ounces to start today. Five fish here today. Looking for seven two to get inside the cut. 11 pounds, 15 ounces, with 48 pounds, 5 ounces. Matty Wong moves into sixth place currently. Semi-final Saturday at the guaranteed rate. Bassmaster Elite. 48 pounds, 5 ounces, sitting in sixth place. I'd love to send you out there for your first championship Sunday on the Elite Series. And uh, you're playing high-risk, high-reward game here this week, and hopefully it's enough. You know, I, I, I really hope so, too. Uh, it would be really awesome to make my first Sunday and uh, always dreamed about making it to Championship Sunday, and that would be really, really special. But, yeah, today was today was a grind, man. I think it was the first time I've ever been out in a lake in April, and I was, like, catching snowflakes on my tongue. And uh, yeah, this, this place is special. It really is. Um, I didn't get my last keeper bite until uh, basically three minutes until I had to head in and uh, I just grinded all day and got to fish like how I wanted to fish and which I had a blast doing and I said you know what either way however today shakes out I still had fun doing it and that's just 
that just gives me stoked beyond belief, man. And I, I just absolutely love fishing and I'm completely addicted. And uh, I really appreciate all you guys showing up today. This is awesome, man. This is uh, such a killer crowd. And um, yeah, we'll see. You never know. You never know. It's fishing. And uh, we'll love to fish tomorrow. We'll find out at the end of our way. And congrats on a great finish, no matter what way it works out. Let's bring over Bassmaster Classic Qualifier from Millville, New Jersey, GDP, Greg De Palma. 35 pounds and two ounces to start the day. Five fish here today. Looking for 10, 15, 12 pounds, three ounces inside the top 10 currently in eighth place with 47 pounds and five ounces. Forty-seven five, and inside the top ten. I'd love to send you out tomorrow, but we'll find out at the end of our way. And but you got to be happy with the way this one worked out. Yeah, a super happy day for sure. No matter how it works out. Uh, you know, this week I fished the way I like to fish. I, I fished in the dirt. I fished super shallow. Caught a bunch in a jig. Caught a bunch in a buzz bait. It was fun this week. Uh, I want to say thanks to everybody back at home. It's been kind of a rough few uh, tournaments for me, man. And I get so much support from back home. It means so much, guys. I appreciate it. My lovely wife. Thank you guys so much. Got any questions for me, Dave? Nothing. I got nothing for you. You got nothing, huh? No. All right. I'm going to go get a warm shower and a nice bowl of pasta. Oh, uh, and what kind of pasta? See, I got a question. I can't tell you. Oh, well, see, that's why I don't ask you questions, because you won't tell me. <laughs> it's a communication breakdown. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll see you. <laughs> he is the only Australian to ever to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event. Fear my heart, Carl Jacobson. From Toowoomba, Australia, could have lived anywhere in America, chose to live right here because of this body of water. Looking for 13 pounds, 5 ounces, 18 pounds, 3 ounces inside the cut in fourth place with 51 pounds and 3 ounces. Digging deep in that VMC weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for Carl Jacobson. Fifty-one pounds, three ounces, and uh, like Matty Wong, you are playing a game of high risk and high reward. And uh, yesterday, you know, was a tougher day for you, but might be enough to get back out there tomorrow. How are you feeling about your chances if you do get to go? Yeah, I just want a chance. I want a shot. That's all I need to know. If I can get out there and be a little bit back and, and able to swing for it, you know, that's that's my dream. I love being able to sort of be a little bit behind and then really go for it. But i got to sneak inside that cut. You know, yesterday really cost me. I, this has been a, an amazing week, and I just should be blowing this thing away, really. It's been amazing, and I'm, I'm super dialed in and just a little bit unlucky yesterday with the way I'm fishing. That's how it goes, but... Hopefully we sneak inside the cut, get another day here on Lake Chickamauga. Absolutely love this lake, love Tennessee, love living here, and uh, it's just been incredible staying in our own bed and fishing a Bassmaster Elite Series. It's uh, it's a true dream. Um, I want to say a huge thank you just to everyone for the support. You know, just when I had a really tough day yesterday, um, I just got so many messages and and just so much support it's um i just appreciate it you know i appreciate everyone back home in australia and everyone here in the u.s that's welcomed us here and me here and and gets behind me you know i'm from another country and and you guys are just some of my biggest supporters so thanks very much i hope i'm fishing tomorrow and i'm gonna get after it congrats on a great event a six-time Bassmaster winner, former Bass Nation National Champion, former Angler of the Year from Rathdrum, Idaho, the prodigy, Brandon Polinick. 32 pounds and 10 ounces to start the day. A good day today. Looking for 13.11 to get in the cut, 25.2 to take the lead. 15 pounds, 14 ounces. He moves into seventh place with 48 pounds and 8 ounces. Fifty-eight pounds and eight ounces sitting in seventh place, and uh, you kind of said it's going to be a bit short. You don't think it's going to be enough? I think I needed like 16.2, 16.3 if I was going to make it. I think I'll be just short. Uh, I had a five-pounder hooked, and I just tried to boat flip it because I thought I was going to be cool. And then it was not cool when it broke off in the air, and I was like, now nah, it's going to cost you. So I'm going to be back there sweating it out, believe it or not, since it's 37 degrees outside. But I'm going to be sweating.
I hope you get a chance to get out there. Let's hear it for Brandon Polnick. A two-time Elite Series Angler of the Year, a Bassmaster Open winner from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. 33 pounds, 8 ounces as of this morning. He's got three fish here today. 7 pounds, 6 ounces, puts you in 17th place. And the silver lining is you you don't got to sweat it backstage like Brandon. You, you know you did your job this week, made some money, and you get to go home. You can keep polishing up that chicken turd, but it ain't going to be chicken salad. I can promise you. you. You can stir it, mash it, hit it with a blender. It's just chicken crap today. That's what it was. That's, I mean, there's people say, boy, I went out there and give it heart and soul. I give it heart and soul when I get out of bed. Some days they just don't bite. I mean, I knew it. I caught him yesterday. It's so shallow. They had a flea collar on all them big ones. I went in there this morning, and I got all the feels of a rainbow. I've been snowed on, held on, lightning, wind blown, run over. They was froze. I fished about an hour. I said, yeah, but we got we got big troubles. He said, what you got? I said, nowhere to go and don't know where to start. It's over. You know, we just I tried to go fishing in and make some adjustments, but it's really hard to leave some of the areas when you had bites. Uh, chicks fishing pretty stingy right now. It really is. You don't get When you don't get bites, you can't make good adjustments, and you can't run a pattern. You just, you just find yourself like Stevie Wonder playing bad went, and I'm just swinging. I mean, I'm just... I'm cutting at every tree I see. I'm like, that tree looks good. That rock looks good. That tree. And I, I mean, I need to take medicine because I can't run by a bluff. I'm like, they got to be on that and they ain't been on the rest of them. You can fish bluffs all day long. All you're going to do is break off and get mad. I can tell you. But I caught the prettiest yellow cat. I almost brought him in because I said, I bet you some of them rednecks know how to skin this thing and we could have us a big old fish fry. Look at Dayton, Tennessee showing up and showing out. Y'all got the hoodies on, son. It's cold. Hey, y'all keep y'all's weather now. It's an emotional wreck, I can tell you. I, I mean, I felt like I'd been offended by this weather. I, I didn't know whether to put one boot on. I wore Uggs today, and only Tom Brady wears those, and I was proud of them. So y'all can make fun of them if you want to. But my feet was the only thing that wasn't cold. Only Gerald Swindle can make Uggs look cool. Well, maybe the only male that can make Uggs look cool. From Colgate, Oklahoma, trying to make a second 10 cut in a row, Luke Palmer. <laughs> you see what happens, ladies and gentlemen? 32 pounds, one ounce. Let me explain something to you about professional anglers. Today, 16 pounds, five ounces. He moves into eighth place. I said he made two cuts in a row. He quickly corrected me and said he made the cut at the Classic. If I'd have said he made four, never would have corrected me. Making his third cut this year, if you include the Bassmaster Classic. But, it, I mean, I hope you're in there in eighth place. It's uh, it's going to be close. But, man, having a great season. And, really, your career since you joined the Elite Series, you have, uh, you know, had a really great, you know, and consistent. And it just seems to be getting even better this season. I It has. You know, I've been really blessed with what I've been doing. Things have just kind of worked out and have stayed consistent. But, uh I'd like to get that consistency and uh, get one of them blue trophies one of these days because I don't like getting so close and then falling off of it. But maybe one of these days it's going to happen. You know, it, this week has been uh, very interesting with the wind and weather and snow. I hadn't fished in snow in a while today. It, you know, you're wearing shorts, so you don't really count. So No, I do. I'm st <laughs> Trust me, don't blame my country. People say, you're Canadian, you're wearing shorts. No, I'm an idiot that didn't pack trousers. That's all it is. It's, do not blame an entire nation on my stupidity. Well, you know, things happen. That's just part of it. You know, it, it's been a good week. I flipped, you know, with my Falcons all week and Sunline, and I got to do it pretty much exactly like I did at Santee. They just weren't quite as big this week, so... You know, I was happy with it, and, uh, you know, I'd love to make top ten and go fish tomorrow, but if not, I guess we'll uh, see everybody at Fort. Always great to have you here. Hope to bring you out at the end of our way, and let's bring out a three-time U.S. Open champion, seven-time classic qualifier from Payson. What? Well, there's a delay. Hold on. Oh, okay. We, I need to have the check before I know. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> your VMC monster bag of the tournament, Luke Palmer. Okay, there he is. All right, is that it for checks? Freaking happy Gilmore checks are really slowing down my time to put trousers back on. Do I? There's no big check back. Your time, you don't even get to talk to me at the next tournament. You've used up time for the next one. All right, from Payson, Arizona, a three-time U.S. Open champion, a seven-time classic qualifier, Clifford Perch. 
32 pounds and 2 ounces. Five fish here today. Good bag of fish. Looking for 15.8 to get in the cut. 16.11 in sixth place with 48 pounds, 13 ounces. Forty-eight pounds, thirteen ounces. Forty-eight, thirteen, sitting in sixth place, and uh, I'd love you to get you to go fishing tomorrow. But we'll find out at the end of our way. And got to be happy with the way this week went. Man, I'm really happy. I'm super thankful. It, it was a total blessing uh, to catch him like that. Uh, caught him really good yesterday, and today uh, caught him pretty good, but it was just a little harder. It was cold and. Uh, didn't get quite as many bites, but, uh, man, I would love to have a chance to go back out there again. I love Chickamauga. It's been really good to me in the past, and uh, um, I'd really like to have one more chance at it. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm happy. You know, again, it, it's been a great season so far, and, and uh, God has just blessed me with some good breaks and, and some some just fortunate things. And, uh, man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Hope to get you out there. We'll find out at the end of our way. And a three-time classic qualifier, Bassmaster Open winner from Mount Carmel, Tennessee, David Mullins. 26 pounds and three ounces as of this morning. Got two fish here today. 4-4 four, four, gives him 30 pounds and seven ounces. Uh, Going to call an end to your tournament uh, this week, but great payday. Make it to day three. You've done your job. Yeah, I feel like I should be arrested for getting a check at this thing because I'll tell you, I wasn't on much at all. And, uh, Come out here with a check. I'm, I'm tickled to death. But uh, interesting East Tennessee weather as usual. Had a little snow today in April. And uh, still yet the biggest snow I've ever seen here is in April. We had like 15 inches one year when I was a kid. And uh, it's always crazy. But thanks for everybody coming out. Uh, sorry I couldn't catch any more bass than that. But that's all I have. You did pretty good. Look forward to seeing you the next one. An 11-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier and Elite Series champion from Brookville, Indiana, Dollar Bill Lowen. 26 pounds and four ounces as of this morning. He's got five fish. Those five fish, 15 pounds, seven ounces. He moves up to 18th place with 41 pounds, 11 ounces. Forty-one, eleven, sitting in 18th place, and Dollar Bill got the nickname because, I mean, you don't miss a lot of cuts. You are Dollar Bill. You cash a lot of checks and uh, got another one this week. Yeah, anytime you can get a check, it's good. You know, this year for me has been kind of up and down, but like you said, anytime you can make it to Saturday, it's always a good day. You know, this week for me, it was went from thinking I was going to do really good in the event to just trying to survive, you know, and grinding it out, and that's what I've done the last three days, and like I said, I'm fortunate to be standing up here, and, you know, it's pretty awesome that every day I fish on Saturday that we pick a kid out of the crowd and give him a Bassmaster membership. I got any kids out here that like to fish? Huh? Huh? I see a little kid right out there with a black sweatshirt on sitting on his lap right there. Yep. He's going to get a Bassmaster membership. You know, when I was young and I was his age, all I wanted to do was stand on this stage and give back you know what i mean so uh bassmaster helps you do that helps you learn how to catch more fish and uh anytime i can give back to the youth and our future generation i take full advantage of it you know um like i said chickamauga was a grind this week and i just want to thank everybody for coming um and being cold with all of us you know we had every kind of weather you could think of today rain snow sun wind um and i just want to thank you all for coming um, and for those of you who will be here tomorrow, come hang out in the Yamaha booth with me and uh, talk about my Express and my Yamaha, and let's not talk about fishing. All right, we'll see you over there. Came into this event with the lead in our Falcon Rods Rookie of the Year race from Wisconsin, Jay Shakurat. 28 pounds and an ounce, big day yesterday. Three fish here today. Six pounds, 13 ounces, puts him in 26th place with 34 pounds, 14 ounces, and uh, not going to make the cut, but man, uh, yesterday's weight really rallied you right back into this thing, and not just into this thing, but kept you on top in the Rookie of the Year race. Yeah, yesterday's weight was huge for me. Uh, going back through the same exact areas I went through yesterday, and uh, 
you know, my fish just didn't bite today, but, you know, to, to make the cut coming into this tournament, I had a terrible practice, and all I want to do is make the cut, and now possibly back in the lead for Rookie of the Year, there's nothing I could ask more for. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming. Wow, this is quite the crowd. Everybody came out today and uh, ready to get back to Wisconsin and start fishing there. We might have some open water now. <laughs> you, you think? Possibly. I don't know. It's kind of cold today, though. <laughs> You'll find out. We look forward to seeing you at Lake Fork. A great season he is having. Let's bring in a Bassmaster Open winner and classic qualifier from Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Oh, Bob Downey. Had 29 pounds and 5 ounces as of this morning. Let's get him up that leaderboard. Five fish today. 14 pounds, 8 ounces gives him 43 pounds and 13 ounces. And old Bob moves into 16th place currently. Sitting in 16th place and big bites like that is the reason people come from all around the world to this incredible body of water. And uh, that's going to get you a bunch more money. And uh, got to be happy with a day three appearance here this week. Yeah, I'm really happy with it, and uh, yeah, fortunate to get that big bite, about a six-pounder first thing this morning, so I love this lake. I was here a few years ago, caught my PB, and there's a lot of big fish here, and there's a reason a lot of people come here, and I hope we come back. It reminds me of uh, home quite a bit, Mississippi River, and uh, I was just flipping trees and throwing chatterbait all week, so it's a good deal. Ready to get back to Minnesota. I think there's some snow and icy lakes greeting me. So uh, looking forward to it. Safe travels. We'll see you at Lake Fork. A three-time Bassmaster winner, six-time classic qualifier from Paducah, Kentucky, Mark Menendez. 26 pounds, six ounces. Two fish here today for Mark Menendez. Four pounds, six ounces. He says, I worked hard for him. I'm holding him up. 30 pounds, 12 ounces. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Man, this was a different, I mean, a world-class fishery, but, boy, we hit it at a weird time. Well, the Tennessee River is a great place to be any time you're on it. And, you know, it's it, conditions have been tough, but I had other conditions to get over with my back. I've had a, had a tough time with my back this week. and So I've sat down in the pawpaw chair all week, and, Dave, I had one cast I made the first two days of the term. I caught a limit very fast the first day. I was making one cast. I caught two four-pounders off of it yesterday, and I think I basically caught everything that was there that just got me to today. So catch them on a crawfish colored Strike King 1.5 and uh, burn it really fast. They really wanted it fast, and today that cooler water and conditions just kind of slowed that down. So I had to start from scratch because I never got a bite on that one cast, but I got enough to get here for today, and that's always a good thing. A lot of points and a great payday. Hope the back heals up, and we'll see you at Lake Fork. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series from Osaka, Japan, Kenta Kamira. Had 25-11, one fish here today. Two pounds, eight ounces, puts him in 39th place currently. And uh, the good news is we're going to pay you to leave here this week. So it's a good, to, good to be here on day three. Yeah, really, I'm still happy about making calls. But, you know, I had a tougher day since practice but you know i was taking 46 nothing to lose so i just kept looking for bigger bag but just never happened hopefully get him at lake fork when we head there next look forward to seeing you there a three-time bassmaster classic qualifier from newcomers town ohio hunter shryock had 27 pounds and five ounces as of this morning five fish to add to that here today let's get him some Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points, 13 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 21st with 41 pounds even for the former motocross racer. Let's hear it for Team Abu Garcia's Hunter Shryock. 41 pounds even, just outside the cut uh, for tomorrow. But, man, day three cut is always the goal and uh, mission accomplished. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was a grind out there. You're going to hear that a lot. But uh, the Berkeley baits I used this week, pitching around a little Max Scent Creature Hog the first day, caught some sight fishing. Then, obviously, we started getting some rain, some wind. Had to pick up the Berkeley squ uh, Pit Bull that I haven't caught him on really in practice at all in that phantom brown color. Uh, it's really good on this Tennessee River when it kind of starts to clean up a little bit. And uh, 
you know, it's not bright red, but man, they choked it today and it, it bailed me out because I had like two fish at noon and started catching them on it. So thankful for that and thankful for all, for all you guys coming out. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you at Lake Fork. A former Strike King college bass champion from Ava, Missouri, Cody Huff. Had 26 pounds, two ounces as of this morning, four fish here today. 12 pounds, nine ounces. He moves into 26th place currently with 38 pounds, 11 ounces. And a day three finish is always the goal here in the Elite Series. It is. This is actually my first cut of the year, so I'm glad to be here. But uh, I just want to take a minute and say a big thanks to all my sponsors. Big shout out to Bass Pro Shops and Nitro, Rapala, True Timber Cambo, everybody that makes it possible for us to all do what we love to do, you know. Uh, big thanks to Dayton for having us. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. It's great to see you. Always great to have you here. A seven-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a Bassmaster Open winner from Fayetteville, Tennessee, the always lethal Brandon Lester. 28 pounds, 7 ounces, 5 fish to add to that here today. Fourteen pounds, five ounces, puts him in 18th place currently with 42 pounds and 12 ounces. Forty-two pounds and twelve ounces. So a good, good week here this week. I mean, a, a challenging week for everybody. And I don't care even if you're leading this tournament. It does feel like one of those ones where everybody is walking on a tightrope and could fall off at any second. Yeah, that's definitely true. You know, I, I really wanted sunshine, warm. I wanted the sight fish and catch spawning fish. And that's what I ended up doing here this week. But I think what I was catching was mostly males. So, uh, you know, I think those females are still back just a little bit. And a lot of these guys figured out how to catch those fish. And I promise you, I'll be watching Bassmaster Live tomorrow trying to see because I couldn't figure it out this week just fishing. You know, I had to pretty much... Uh, you know, just trying to do the spawning thing. But I feel like I did the best I could with what I had. Uh, another good finish, and uh, thankful for it. And we'll go on down the road, get ready for the next one. Look forward to seeing you there. Safe travels. We'll see you at Lake Fork. Here's a guy traveling a long way, all the way from Japan, Elite Series champion, Takumi Ito. Had 30 pounds and 10 ounces as of this morning. Three fish here today. Five pounds, eight ounces, gives him 36 pounds and two ounces. He's going to hold one high for you, ladies and gentlemen. Thirty-six pounds, two ounces, Takumi sitting in 30th place. And uh, you don't like big bass. You say you, they, you're not strong enough for them. So the good news is they, they those pesky big bass did not bother you today uh, yeah so i don't like big bass because of too much power so today i got a spotted bass two spotted bass so spotted bass is uh, i like it so finesse and not so too much big so all the way two pounder three pounder so i love it and uh, i love uh, chikamaga because uh, i live in a very very close uh, one hour only so i fish in uh, chikamaga many times so but uh, sometimes so big fish, chikamaga bass, so bite, very, very difficult to catch for me. Well, you've done good here this week. You made it to day three. Let's hear it for Takumi Ito. The very first Canadian to ever win a Bassmaster Elite Series event from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Chris Johnston. Had 28 pounds, 12 ounces, five fish to add to that here today. 15 pounds, 10 ounces, gives him 44 pounds and 6 ounces. And Chris Johnson moves into 16th place currently. Every spot you move up the leaderboard gets you more valuable progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points as you make your way to the ultimate goal, which is 2023 Bassmaster Classic, which just happens to be here in the great state of Tennessee. So you got to be happy with the points and the payday this week. Yeah, it was a good tournament. I got some points back. The last two tournaments haven't been great for me, so I'm, I'm glad to get back on the right track and hopefully make that classic, like you said. And uh, I had fun this week. I, I got more bites than I would have thought, to be honest, maybe seven, eight keepers a day, and I just I never got that kicker, but uh, that's all right. I'm looking forward to the next one in Texas, but I think I'm going to go back to Canada and warm up a bit.
Yeah, it's actually warmer at home right now than it is here in Tennessee. Let's hear it for him and keep him rolling. A Bassmaster Classic qualifier, his second season on the Elite Series from Newport, Alabama. Justin Hamner, 27 pounds, 2 ounces to start the day. Four fish to add to that here today. 8 pounds, 4 ounces gives you 35 pounds and 6 ounces. And uh, some good points and a good payday this week around. Yeah, I'm glad I can uh, get out of this one with a little check because uh, it's been bad for me all week. Every day I've done something different. I don't know. I thought the only good fish I had was uh, flipping a jig on dock, so I thought I was going to do that all day, day today. And uh, about 1.30, I didn't have a fish, so picked, <laughs> scrapped that and went and did something else. Well, you're going to get a good payday, and we head to Lake Fork next. Yeah. Uh, you're going to tell me what Ozzy is? You need to research it. Ozzy is a singer. Some, somewhat depends on who. Yesterday, depends on who the judge is. I mean, does anybody here know who Ozzy is? Actually, nobody knows. Evidently, Ozzy is not huge in Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Roll Tide. With this guy, he is. <laughs> Evidently, Justin Hamner is not huge in Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> A three-time classic qualifier from Palatka, Florida, the Prince of Palatka, Cliff Prince. 30 pounds, 7 ounces at the start of today. Four fish to add to that. 11 pounds, 6 ounces. Gives you 41 pounds, 13 ounces. And Cliff Prince moves into 20th place currently. Forty-one thirteen, sitting in 20th place. Great points and a great payday this week, Cliff. Yeah, you know, it was a, I was on the struggle bus all day today. I just happened to pull in a pocket right there the last probably hour and caught a couple of nice ones and uh, kind of saved the day. But far from making the cut, but I'll take it. And we'll go to the next one. Forward to seeing you at Lake Fork. Safe travels. A two-time Elite Series champion from Aiken, South Carolina, the Tower of Power, J. Will, Jason Williamson. 29 pounds, 7 ounces to start the day. A good day today. He needs 18 pounds, 14 ounces to get inside the cut. Five fish, 22 pounds, 10 ounces with 52 pounds and an ounce. Jay Willie moves into fourth place inside our cut for championship Sunday here at the guaranteed rate Bassmaster Elite at Chickamauga. And that fish just pooped all over my water i'm pretty sure jay i'm glad you weighed it first but it weighs a lot less right now by the looks things and the smells of things up here if smells of things is a term when that for phoenix boats big bass six nine not going to take over phoenix boats big bass but the ultimate goal to make it to championship sunday and it looks like you have done that yeah that's the goal you know after a really tough practice i went out there and i got sleeted on snowed on rained on the winds blow every day, but I just put my head down and fished hard. You know, I fished clean today and uh, got fortunate enough to get three big bites. So here we are. So uh, I always enjoy coming here to Chickamauga, and I'd love to go out there one more day. Going to get a chance by the looks of things, and luckily you did, didn't get pooped on. Our next angler from Georgia, his second season on the Elite Series, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier, Mark Frazier. It's not an easy job up here, Mark. My, my, it turns out my water narrowly avoided the poop, but it's everywhere else up here. 10 pounds, 11 ounces. Gives you 38 pounds, 6 ounces. And puts them in 31st place. <laughs> 38 pounds, 6 ounces, and another good finish. More points and a great payday. Yeah, good points. Uh, man, I, I ran all over the lake today. I literally burned about everything I had in my tank, and uh, I just never collided with them. You know, I fished deep, shallow, and just had five keeper bites, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a grind out there. That snow wasn't no fun, but uh, I mean, anyway, I like to um, give a big shout out to my wife. About to have a little girl, so I got to hurry up and get home because doctor says she's running early, so Go home and uh, congratulations. Hope all goes well. We look forward to finding out about that. The 2019 Bassmaster Angler of the Year, a two-time FLW Tour winner from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. 
27 pounds and 12 ounces as of this morning. Three fish here today. Five pounds and nine ounces, puts you in 37th place. And getting a shot at them on semifinal Saturday, you know that's the goal. Keep doing those, and you'll find yourself back in the Classic, which is here in Tennessee. That's right. That's right. That's the main goal. Uh, you know, it's been tough on me. I changed up this morning and tried to catch some big ones, and it didn't work. And thought I could go catch a limit doing what I've been doing, but I didn't save enough time, I don't guess. But uh, this is awesome. Dayton showing out. It's a good uh, good crowd. And, uh, you know, the lake's fishing good. We've seen some big fish, and it's just tough. I mean, it's really tough to get bites and generate bites. But, um, you know, it was fun. It was a good week. Got money. Got points. Move on to the next one see what we can do there. Thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks to all my sponsors. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you at the next one. A former Bass Nation national champion from Louisiana, Caleb Summerall. Three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Had 27 pounds and 4 ounces as of this morning. Five fish to add to that here today. 13-13 13, 13 gives him 41 pounds and an ounce. And he moves into 25th place currently. Let's hear it for Team Express Yamaha's Caleb Summerall. 41 pounds and an ounce sitting in 25th place and another good payday. I'm happy with it, man. You know, today was, uh, this, this has been a really grind tournament. I mean, uh, first day I caught six keepers, yesterday I caught five keepers, and today I caught five keepers. So it's, it's not easy fishing out there. I mean, maybe it is for some of the guys, but it hasn't been for me. I caught my fifth one on my last cast today and, and made it just in just in time. Um, got some people to thank. It's been a good week. Uh, my express boats, I ran all the way down to the dam down there in Chattanooga, fished around Harrison Bay. It was windy as all get out. The boat did great, phenomenal. Got me there and back every day safe. Um, dudes at Optimal Field Services, thank you for all y'all do. My boys right there. Um, wife and kids at home, I'm leaving tonight. I'll be driving all night. I'll see you in the morning. Safe travels. We look forward to seeing you at the next one. A nine-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Gainesville, Florida, Bertie Schultz. At 25 pounds, 15 ounces start the day. Three fish here today. Seven pounds, 11 ounces, gives you 33 pounds and 10 ounces. Moves you into 38th place and some great points as we move down the road for our next event a few weeks from now on Lake Fork. You know, it was a near disaster, so I'm just glad to be here. It was a great day. Three fish in a lot, but it means a lot. It, it adds up towards the end of the year, so I'm just glad to get through it. Great fish, and tell your mom happy birthday. It's mom's 100th birthday today, or this week, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for her. He's a seven-time FLW Tour winner, a former Forest Wood Cup champion from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. Had 29 pounds even to start the day. Three fish to add to that here today. Nine pounds, 13 ounces, gives him 38 pounds and 13 ounces. 38, 13, and Scott Martin moves into 30th place. <laughs> 30th place with 38 pounds, 13 ounces, and that day two, that big bag on day two, man, that salvaged this tournament for you, and that's what it takes to get through, you know, this season and make it to your ultimate goal, which is getting back to the Classic. That's exactly right. You know, for me, this was a junk fishing tournament. I never caught enough fish in practice to really get dialed in on anything. So, like, the first day, you know, wasn't very good. I caught three fish, caught them all doing different things. Yesterday, I caught fish sight fishing, caught fish flipping, caught fish on chatter rates. And today was kind of the same thing. I just never could quite get dialed in on, on something. And in a tournament like this, you can junk fish your way into a big bag, but it's hard to do it every single day. And so yesterday I had a big bag, and today it just didn't work out. But like you said, good points for the Classic. Uh, I love fishing Chickamauga. The people, the fans are awesome around here. Hope we come back. See you guys. I'm sure we'll be back, and we look forward to seeing you at Lake Fork. He's the reigning Elite Series Rookie of the Year from Alabama, Josh Strachner. At 25 pounds, 10 ounces, three fish to add to that here today. Eight pounds, eight ounces, gives you 34 pounds and two ounces. And uh, calls an end to this one, but uh, going to leave here with some good points and a great payday. Yeah, it's always nice getting paid. You know, uh, a couple short of a limit, kind of disappointed on that. But uh, the way my practice, I had a terrible, horrible practice. So uh, just catch, just being here today, you know, it, it, mean, it means a lot. So uh, maybe we can move on to Lake Fork here in about 30, 40 days and catch some more. Look forward to seeing you there. Safe travels, and we'll see you down the road. 
his first season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, fighting it out for the lead in our Falcon Rods Rookie of the Year race from Alabama, Josh or Joseph Webster. I was introducing Josh Strachner. He's like, I'm having a bad day, dude. I mean, it's even too cold for me to wear shorts. I got to be honest. Nine pounds, six ounces, gives you 38 pounds, seven ounces, and uh, puts you in 33rd place, and at least you don't have to freeze your butt off tomorrow. Well, I I would take my chances of freezing my butt off tomorrow, but, you know, uh, I, I wasn't really on nothing on this tournament right here. I just kind of fished around, threw a little shaky head all week, and uh, just thankful for what I got, and uh, ready to head on down to Fort. Look forward to seeing you there. Safe travels. I know you're going to get loud, ladies and gentlemen, the 2003 Classic Champion, 2006 Angler of the Year from Pitts Grove, New Jersey. Go Ike for Mike Iaconelli. <laughs> Had 28 pounds, 7 ounces as of this morning. Five fish to add to that here today. 9 pounds, 11 ounces, pushing 35th with 38 pounds, 2 ounces. And that's a big step towards the ultimate goal, making it to the Classic Ike. Yeah, heck of a uh, bad start this year, so getting some positive momentum. Making the cut's always a nice thing. I'm, I'm proud of this week. I um, want to tell you real quick, if you're out here in the crowd and you want to learn a little bit more, we got a Bash University booth right there. Man, they hire the best pros in the world to talk about what they do. So, you know, guys like Jason Christie, you know, they're all there. So go check them out. Good information. A great program and always great to have you here. He's a two-time Bassmaster winner, hot off an event with 103 pounds and one ounce from Wisconsin, Caleb Kufal. Started the day with 37 pounds, 15 ounces. Needs 10 pounds, 7 ounces to get in the cut. 16 pounds, 4 ounces with 54 pounds and 3 ounces. Caleb Kufal moves into fourth place currently. Let's hear it for the Wisconsin Pro. Fifty-four pounds and three ounces, and it looks like you have made your uh, second top ten in a row. I mean, we talked last week, and you told me you have never danced in your life, and you don't plan to. If you win this tournament, can I make you dance on this stage? If I win, yeah, I think we might uh, we might bring that out. But uh, I never said never. I mean, I haven't danced at all up to this point, so... I'm not saying that, you know, in the future it might happen. You might, you might be a phenomenal dancer. I mean, if you've never done it, you might do it and be like, I can't believe I've missed this my entire life. I don't look like it, but I'm actually pretty athletic, so I think I would actually be pretty darn good. What genre of dance do you think you would excel in? Disco. Disco. Uh, we will have the music ready for tomorrow. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. He's a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Four Elite Series second place finishes from Mississippi, Brock Mosley. 38 pounds and an ounce to start the day. He needs 10-7 to get in the cut. 19-11 to take the lead. 20 pounds even with 58 pounds and an ounce. Brock Mosley takes the lead. And he will be with us on Championship Sunday, the fourth Championship Sunday of 2022, here on the Bassmaster Elite Series, the guaranteed rate Bassmaster Elite at Lake Chickamauga. 58 pounds and an ounce, and you're going to be part of our top 10 going tomorrow, and I know you're tired of hearing it, but you've been so close. You are knocking on that door once again. Is it finally time to open it and hold that trophy here on this stage tomorrow? There's one problem. What, what, what's the problem? <laughs> Jason Christie's right behind me. <laughs> that, that's a big, big problem. Half of my second place finishes has been to Jason Christie. <laughs> well, m do you think you can convince him maybe to be not? I mean, he won the classic. I mean, he's, I mean, how much? I mean, getting kind of greedy at this point, no? I guess we need to figure out where he's staying tonight. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I'd show up there. He, he's kind of a scary cat. He is from Oklahoma. He's liable to shoot me. <laughs> Talk to me about fishing. You got fish left for tomorrow? I don't know, man. I, I really, I, I'm just, just fishing. You know, I'm putting my head down, um, fishing the way I want to fish, covering some water, and uh, man, some. I, I mean, I've been pretty consistent with my weights, but it's like every day is something different. The first day I had one giant. Um, yesterday, all my fish were about the same size, so. Uh, I don't know. I mean, um, 
you know, the conditions are going to change. Um, I'm hoping for the better. Um, you know, it's bad when your cameraman's from the Rocky Mountains and he's complaining about how cold it is. <laughs> but, uh, you know, who knows? Uh, it's anybody's game tomorrow. And, um, you know, it's, I think it's going to come down to who can catch the big one tomorrow. Love to see it happen for you. Let's hear it for Brock Mosley, ladies and gentlemen. His first season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. He's a Bassmaster Open winner from Japan. Daisuke Aoki. Had 40 pounds, 4 ounces. He's looking for 17 pounds, 14 ounces to take the lead. 17 pounds, 10 ounces. 17, 10 with 57 pounds, 14 ounces. Daisuke Aoki moves into second place, and he is going to be fishing with us on Championship Sunday. Daisuke moves into second place currently. The exact spot he left the dock in this morning was sitting in second place. And sitting there right now, and you are uh, five bass away, the right five bass away from becoming a Bassmaster Elite Series champion. What would that mean to you? Yeah, I'm... Day three is fossil time. Maybe day, day four? Yes. Fossil time. I'm very happy. <laughs> very happy to be going out on Championship Sunday. You're fishing very different than a lot of the other anglers. Tomorrow the wind is supposed to lay down a little bit, supposed to be more sunny, a little warmer. Does that help you? Uh, the way you're fishing, the better conditions tomorrow? Uh, mm, I don't know. But um, every day area change. Uh, day one and uh, day two, very good area. But uh, today's no good. Uh, but the second area, uh, many bus. But uh, uh, small size, many. Uh, I'm big bass search. Uh, today's two big one help. Uh, I'm very happy. And uh, uh, this morning, uh, my boat trouble. Uh, Navi light broken. Uh, I'm I don't starting. Uh, ah, sorry, I don't take off. Uh, return. Uh, but uh, uh, Bob Danny. A quick help me, uh, and uh, I quick restart. Uh, very little time. Uh, uh, so yeah, very little time. Wait, uh, restart. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Bob Danny, <laughs> and uh, near Elite Angler. I thank you. Thank you and congratulations. Bob Donnie helped him out. He's going out in second place tomorrow. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes our semifinal Saturday way, and we got one more thing to do, and that's to bring out our top ten anglers. Let me ask you, Dayton, Tennessee, are you ready to meet them? No, 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 Dayton, Tennessee, you got to do better than that. It is the fourth stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series. We started with 94, cut it down to 47, and only 10 remain. Are you ready? <laughs> Going out in 10th position, a three-time U.S. Open champion, a seven-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. From Payson, Arizona, the Golden Ram, Clifford Perch. Nothing says love like Lake Chickamauga. What a place to have a honeymoon, and it just got even more romantic with Championship Sunday. His second 10 cut in a row. He is a his third 10 cut in a row. He is a former FLW Tour Rookie of the Year, a former FLW Tour winner, a former Elite Series Rookie of the Year, an Elite Series champion from Georgia, Drew Benton. He is the only Australian to ever win a Bassmaster Elite Series event. He left a country that doesn't even have bass to chase his dream of catching bass. Could have lived anywhere in this country, and he chose this part of the country because of this incredible body of water. All the way from Toowoomba, Australia, now hailing from Tennessee, fear my heart, Carl Jacobson. He 
He's a five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion from Aiken, South Carolina, the Tower of Power, J. Will, Jason Williamson. He is a former Bassmaster Open winner, a classic qualifier. He is an Elite Series champion. Just two weeks ago, he weighed 103 pounds and one ounce and joined the Bassmaster Century Club from Wisconsin. He don't dance, but he might tomorrow. Caleb Kufal! Speaking of dancing, I mean, he's done that most likely at some point in his life professionally. He's straight from the trailer park and into your heart. He is the happy Gilmore of professional bass fishing, a three-time classic qualifier, a Bassmaster Open winner from Kentucky, a man more slick than an ugly stick, Matt Robertson. Just a few years ago, we met a little kid that fished in a university right up the road. He looked like the kid that delivers the paper to my house. I coined him the paper boy. But since then, every single time, the paper boy has delivered. A former Strike King college bass champion. Get loud for Jacob Fouts. Oh, boy. He is a 10-time FLW Tour winner, a seven-time Bassmaster winner. He is the reigning and defending Bassmaster Classic champion, one of the most feared names in professional bass fishing from Park Hill, Oklahoma, Jason Christie. What an incredible angling pedigree he brings to the Bassmaster Elite Series. Maybe the most accomplished Japanese angler ever to join the Bassmaster Elite Series. He's a three-time Angler of the Year in Japan, a two-time Classic Champion in Japan. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, a Classic Qualifier, making his very first Elite Series Championship Sunday, Daisuke Aoki! And not, last but definitely not least, he came in here with one goal. Said he needed a top 10. Wore a shirt to remind him of that top 10. Well, he's got to drop one of those zeros and make it I need a first place finish. He's a three-time classic qualifier. A four-time Elite Series bridesmaid from Mississippi. Finally, the Brock has come back to Dayton, Tennessee. Brock Mosley. We started with 94, cut it down to 47, and only 10 remain. These 10 Elite Series assassins will battle it out in the incredible body of water that drives everybody to this area. Lake Chickamauga, it's going down tomorrow. Fish Dayton, it is going to be a showdown, a throwdown, a big fish mowdown on Championship Sunday at the guaranteed rate. Bassmaster Elite, one more time, let's hear it for your top 10. Yeah.